Preppy Radio, this is Chiara Nicoletti and I'm in company of Natural Ballets, director of Ballo Ballo Explota Explota, which we, uh, will be available on Amazon Prime Video from January 25th. Welcome, welcome on Fred. Hi, you ciao, how doing. are you? <laughs> uh, as, I, as I told you before starting the interview, you have to know that, that at Fred and the radio, we've been waiting for this film for months now, since it was programmed at the San Sebastian Film Festival and then it was scheduled to open Torino Film Festival. So there was a huge hype, as people say yeah. nowadays. Uh, <laughs> so we're very curious and we're very glad to, to finally be talking about this film and watching it. So uh, first of all, Nacho, uh, what came first? The idea of directing a musical in the style of Mamma Mia and Across the Universe, or the homage to the legend Raffaella Carrà? Uh, the, uh, the, the first was to, to, for me to direct a musical because uh, I was uh, in that time only directing uh, TV, advertising, um, fashion films for fashion brands. And I was always curious about uh, directing a, a film. Uh, I came from a family of a filmmaker. My, my, uh, my father was a filmmaker in the 80s. Here in Uruguay, he, he was directing uh, documentaries. And my bigger brother is a, a filmmaker in, in Hollywood. So, but I, I was like uh, saying no to, to this kind of destiny of, of, of being filming movies. But, but uh, uh, at the end, I, I was, okay, if I have to, to make a, a film, I, I wanted to make a film because it's, uh, it's, I love doing that. It's, it's, it's telling stories is, is the most beautiful thing in the world. So uh, at, the, at, the, at first uh, I was thinking of making a, a musical, a, um, a musical movie. And then I was, I, I, I knew that Rafaela, it was the perfect choice for, for uh, this, this film. And because uh, of Rafaela is the, is the best uh, artist the in, in the world. <laughs> and, yeah. Yeah, as I said, let's remind uh, our listeners, our viewers, that the film As Mamma Mia, for example, uses Rafaela's song into a different story. It's not a biopic. And uh, yeah. Yeah, you chose to set the musical and the film in the 70s in Spain, which is a country that Mm, if I remember correctly, became a new home for you beside Uruguay, where you are now. And so yeah. I was uh, wondering, uh, was that, that period of time, the, the 70s, like a, a perfect setting? I mean, to really represent, um, you know, freedom and creative, creative future that Rafaela represented at the time and still representing as a counterpoint yeah. to the past, you know, the, uh, the censorship traditions. Yeah. Yeah, well, well when we, I got, came with the idea of, of, of to, to the producer, I, I, the only thing I say it was, why, uh, why, why uh, I, I imagined this film, a, a, a musical with the Rafaela songs, and they love the idea. They say, okay, Let's do it. But then I, 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 I had to, to think about the story with the uh, writers, Eduardo Navarro and David Esteban Cubero. Um, we were thinking about what, what, what we're going to tell. So we found that in, this, in, in Spain, there was a censorship in the TV, uh, Televisión Española, in the national TV network. Uh, we love the idea of a dancer falling in love with the censorship of the TV network. But if we, it was impossible to, to tell that story in the present because there is no uh, censorship guy in the, in the network uh, saying no to, to, to everything right now. There is, it, there is, of course, censorship in the present time, but in, not in that kind of way. So. We, we were thinking about what was the, the last years of dictatorship in Spain and it was in the 75, 74, 73. And, and of course, there was a, 
a big censorship in the for women especially and uh, and that was the, the perfect uh, story of the perfect beginning of, of writing this this film and uh now yeah like we as i told you we love raffaella even if uh, even in italy uh she's a legend i mean she's not the, the person you meet every day so i'm particularly curious about your meeting with Raffaella and uh, we heard that she was enthusiastic about the film uh, and she yeah. said that it goes straight to your heart. So how was it? Tell us more. Yeah, it, for me it was a dream come true because <laughs> I never imagined to end up at her home telling her the, the story. It was magical really because uh, at the, uh, uh, one day I was in the in the north of Spain, spending with time with my Spanish family, uh, and the producer called me that Rafaela wants to meet us in Rome by in two days. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we flew to to Rome, and we we came at her home. It was okay. I'm at Rafaela's house, <laughs> and Rafaela was. At the beginning, like very uh, distant, uh, with distance, like we shake our hands, and uh, uh, we met her at her office in in her house, and she was like curious. She she was like, of course, all right, all right. What what, what is this uh, synopsis? Uh, uh, we sent her the first thing we sent was the, the only one page. The synopsis of the film. Um, she was like very curious, like, okay, who are you? <laughs> uh, what you gonna? What you want to do this film? Uh, and she was like very kind because she was listening listening to me. To I, I was telling her the story, uh, and then I was uh, playing the, her songs in every minute and in, in, in every part of the film. Like at the beginning is, is uh, Adios Amigo. And then Maria arrives to the airport and then Maria is running and, 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 and find Pablo and then uh, find Amparo and Amparo sings Santa Guri. And she was like laughing and she loved the idea of making like Mamma Mia, but with her songs because she loves film, films and she loves Mamma Mia. And, she loves see, watching films in the, her big screen at her home. Uh, and she was like, okay, let's do it. If you want to make this film, you have my blessing. And then we had lunch at her house and we were telling, she was telling stories about her career and, wow. and her past years. Or, and she was, uh, she told me, the one, uh, the, she was in Uruguay in the 80s, uh, the beginning. Uh, uh, this was incredible, really. She, 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 she's a spectacular woman. She, uh, she's a, like, um, at the beginning, I was like, uh, if I, I, I was feeling like I was with, I, I don't know, but a big figure of, uh, she, she has a, a, an amazing energy, like, Maybe you are a little bit afraid <laughs> when she is in the room because she has a strong presence. This is incredible. Uh, I don't, I don't know how to say, but she, she is a, a, a incredible woman. She's a, a spectacular. What, what you think? What do you think? She's uh, such a legend, not only in Italy but also in um, the Spanish world and Latin American. I think uh, she was the first one of, of showing a different way of singing songs and making a show in the TV. That, that's what, uh, the, 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 that's the, the, the main point in, in the, uh, I think people fell in love with her because of that, because it was the first time the they people saw uh, a woman doing whatever she wants to do in front of the camera. And, and, and you know that, you feel that kind of, 
she's doing whatever she wants. She's dancing like she wants to dance and she's singing that she wants to sing and she's wearing clothes the way she wants. So she was the first one. And, and, and people fell in love with that. And uh, until now, I know the people are still in love and she's so mysterious, uh, Rafaela. Nobody knows and, uh, uh, so much about her and, 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 and that's what she makes so special because people listen to Rafaela and okay, Rafaela is trying to, to, to know something, something else and something that you don't know about her. Is it that she make a, a perfect career in that way? <laughs> She's a, a living god. I have to say that I realize even more uh, the the power of her, her songs uh, when you use them like um, in every nuance uh, in the film. I mean, I really liked how you you managed to pay attention to the other stories beside the main one, including, you know, the LGBTQ plus uh, yeah. one. So um, was it always your idea from the beginning to talk about every, you know, every little path towards freedom of expression and creativity? Yeah, uh, I wanted to do, to make the best musical ever for uh, and respecting the songs. Uh, uh, we didn't want to put only put the songs in the film and that's it. it we, we, we wanted to, 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 to pick up each song for, for the film. And uh, of course, I, 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 there, there is a few songs that are his of Rafaela that are not in the film because it was impossible to, 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 to tell the story of the songs with the film. It, it, and then we wanted to do it the best, the perfect way. So at the same time, for for us, it was impossible to not touch uh, such like uh, LHTV topics because Rafaela did it uh, in the 60s, in the 70s. It was not. It was impossible to us to not talk, uh, talk about feminine uh, or the or the freedom of the woman because Rafaela talked about that in her songs. So if we are making a film with her song, it's, it's obvious we're gonna uh, uh, speak or, or or see that kind of topic like freedom, like LGBTB, like gay people, like um, the, the 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 falling in love and dancing are the, the main topics of Rafaela. I I I think we 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 I wanted to to make like a homage to Rafaela and. And this film has a lot of Rafaela in the spirit. You know, it's, it's real, but it's, it's like the, the concept of, I don't know, the airport and the plants. There's a, 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 a lot of videos of Rafaela singing in the airport and the, in, a, in a plane. And there is a, a, a lot of, of, of the concept of Rafaela, like traveling and, and falling in love with a guy and another guy. It's, it's the freedom of, of, of the love and the, and the sexually talking, right? One last uh, curiosity. Uh, are you like nervous about this uh, premiere in Italy since, you know, Raffaella is also our legend and I was uh, working with Italian producers and our Italian actor this afternoon. No, Ah, she never was the, the best. I, I, I saw we, we made a, a big casting. We, we found like 20 guys, I think. Uh, and I fell in love with Giuseppe right away. It was my first choice. I, I knew that Rafael, uh, Giuseppe was with a little bit of beer. Uh, and, and I knew that he uh, was the perfect character for the, the perfect actor for for Ma, uh, Ma, Massimiliano, um, so we the producer wanted to 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 meet, meet her meet him and two guys two, two other actors, mm -hmm. but the producer uh, uh, met with Giuseppe at Indigo Films and she told me she's Maximiliano <laughs> Maximiliano <laughs> she's the one he's the one. <laughs> Are you nervous about this premiere then? 
Oh, yeah, I, I don't know what is going to happen with, with the film in Italy, but uh, I, I hope people like it because, it, of course, it's weird to, to see uh, a film in, in, in Spanish, but also translate to, Ita to Italian with a, a famous song in Italian, but at the same time, it's they're so famous in Spanish. But uh, I, I, I made this film with all my respect to, to Italian culture, uh, and I hope people love it. Is, uh, the, the thing that I love most of, of these films, the film is that it has a, 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 a lot of different uh, lights. It, there was the, the Spanish premiere, now there has the Spanish at the Italian premiere, and then it's going to be released here in Latin America. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's the, the, the most I love, the most of the film, because the, the, it has a, a lot of life. <laughs> so good luck, Nacho Alvarez. Thank you. Thank you so much for being with us and talking about Ballo Ballo, Explota Explota, which we, we will be available on Amazon Prime Video from January 25th. Thank you so much again, and uh, really hope to thank you in person in the future. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> thank you. <laughs>